and historic Norfolk churches at a crossroads. The First Baptist Church Norfolk is trying to hold on to its past, and VDOT is trying to move forward. Now, for the church located on Kempsville Row, that means giving up a big chunk of land. Ten of your sides, Andy Fox, talked to the pastor who says they're not being treated fairly by VDOT in this case. He joins us live now from the church. Andy, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, Tom, they are upset because they claim that they have not been properly compensated by VDOT for putting that bridge pier just 54 feet from the church's sanctuary. First Baptist Church Norfolk has a rich, devout spiritual heritage. Founded in 1805 at the corners of Westover and Moran Avenues, Norfolk, destroyed by fire in 1970, moved to this site on Kempsville Road, completed 1974, additions completed in 1987. Now there's a new history at First Baptist, and Pastor Eric Thomas doesn't like it. The distance between where the bridge will stop and the corner of our worship center is 54 feet. VDOT's $158 million 64-264 project includes the 64 off-ramp in red onto 264 going right by First Baptist Church in the top right. Real close and Pastor Thomas claims has damaged the property more than what VDOT has compensated the church. We believe that this highway so close to the corner of our sanctuary uh, will uh, really, and it has already, it's harmed us in reaching new members. The church even fears a car could leave the roadway, crashing into the church. I think that people who come here believe that to be true. It goes to peace of mind. VDOT first gave the church $1.67 million, increasing that to $5.2 million based on appraisals. Do you feel you were lowballed? Oh, I believe so. Uh, I believe that VDOT has mistreated us because of they're acting like this is no big deal. Lowball because the church says its own appraisal for property and damages is $21 million. So, so this, why didn't you just say no, 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 21 million? That's, we can't do that. Uh, when VDOT gives you a certificate of take, mm -hmm. they take the money that they want to offer and they put it in the bank and that's what they give. Pastor Thomas says damages include tearing down and moving part of the church due to the roadway and building a new parking deck for the lost parking spaces for the 2,500 member church. And late this afternoon, we got this statement from VDOT who wrote, VDOT remains engaged in attempts to address additional concerns of the landowner and is committed to seeking a satisfactory resolution for both the taxpayers and the landowner. Both sides, if they cannot reach a settlement, expect it in court in May. We'll continue to follow this story in Norfolk. Andy Fox, 10 on your side.